store was filled with 3,800 people. And I'd say about 85% uh, of them were women. And also there's a lot of the LGBTQ community. I'm not sure that they were all just there to ogle my tits. So I don't know, you're like de degrading to women thing is a little bit like, maybe you should see the show first or like look around you first. So it's, I think I've been up against like, media maybe that doesn't get it and like but then at the same time there are the ones that do get it like the people that come legit journalists that actually come to see the show and see what I do and look around at what what it means for people to see um a show like mine what what is it about what is it about burlesque in 2024 that makes it relevant and interesting and they can see it but then there's the people that don't bother they just see a picture of me and they're like assume that it's a bunch of dudes like ogling you know naked girls at a burlesque show and I'm like I oh, don't know there's just as many guys in my show as girls and um so it's it's mostly that like just like people that there's a there's a lot of illegitimate journalism happening in the last several years and so I just kind of like I think a lot of the big publications are at least, you know, they have good people writing that that dig in, you know, that that dive in. And then you have the flippant, whatever. I saw a picture. I think I'm gonna write about something I don't know anything about. <laughs> and I've been to your shows. Yes, it's lots of women and it's lots of the gay boys. Yeah, which totally. I'm not complaining yeah. about. And a lot, and a, most of the like guy, like the 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 hetero dudes are there because their wife was like she wanted to come to this show. I don't know. You know, and I totally. have, I've gotten so many letters and emails like from men that were like, okay, I went to your show. I, my wife wanted to go. I was like, okay, I don't understand it. And when the curtains opened, there she was like eyes welled up with tears because, you know, it has like a meaning for her to see this show and for, you know, whatever reason he's like, and I got, got it. It's like, I got it. And it's like, even people like that, that are, you know, you just kind of have to be there to understand, especially like with my tours, which are, you know, a little different than the Las Vegas audience. But um, yeah, it's hard for me to go into like, what could all those reasons be? And how did I become like the, this, how did this show that I do become a place where people find like meaning in seeing people of different ages, shapes, sizes, genders uh like embracing their sensuality and it, it has some kind of like meaning for people to see it so um but it's a it's a lot to go into but it's it's not what people think I, I would agree where do you think we are like you you look at the Kardashians you know like they have I I believe well I think they're one of the fam most famous families ever but you know you look at like what they have done for like body acceptance and like not everyone's a size zero like where do you think we are with like body positivity and like acceptance do you think we have come far am I giving the Kardashians too much credit for being involved in this um yeah I mean I oh it's such a complicated conversation because yes like I feel like yes the the like full ass has been liberated and we love that but then at the same time then you have that like you know, like the person is like, if you post, you could have a picture and they're like, you need to do more squats. You need to go get your ass lit. Or you're just like, wow. So it works both ways. Like there's, I think there's always been like body trends throughout history, sadly. Um, and they kind of like go all around, but I feel like we're in a moment. I mean, I think I'm kind of glad we're in a moment where brands like Victoria's Secret are finally scrambling to be inclusive and diverse and have fuller figures. And you're just like, oh, yeah, you should have done that in an authentic way when you could have. When I launched my lingerie brand, I was like all inclusive. And it took, you know, 13 years later for you to feel like you have to do it. And I, so I like that brands now are like, oh, I got to do this. Even if it's not authentic, they're still trying at least because they want to be part of the conversation. But um, yeah, I don't know. I mean, I don't, I don't like, again, I just don't love the body trends. And, and in my show, I have, um, I have 26 dancers, half of the, you know, half of them are male, half are female. And I, you know, it's not, it's definitely, inclusive of body shape you know you can't tick every box for people but I think people can see a little glimmer of like somebody who's like an amazing dancer um that they're like oh I have I could 
I have that body. I can be sexy too. Like, so I, I that's important to me that there's representation, but in an, an authentic way, you know? Right. That's always important in my show. Would you ever, you know, you mentioned the Pussycat Dolls, like they were notorious for having like guest stars, not that your show needs it, but like, you know, what about like a Kim Kardashian? Like, just what if she came yeah. to you and said, hey, Dita, I'm going to be in Vegas. I want to take, you know, some lessons. I want to premiere yeah. for a week in your show. How do yeah. you feel about that? I mean, that would be fun. I mean, I've performed at a few things um, for the Kardashians and, and um, yeah, there is that power, you know, everybody wants that power of like, having their followers look at you you know i mean it's like there is a powerful thing they're most people are mostly asking me like when's taylor swift going to show up and be in the martini glass so um yeah i mean there's it's i i love the idea of guest stars once i um you know i, I would love the idea of that because also i'm always like yeah sure uh, step on in step on in and i can teach you how to do a glass number it, it, right i mean that that would be fun yeah. Do you watch, I mean, I know you were, look, you were on Dancing with the Stars in France. You've been on Drag Race. You've been on UK Mass Singer. Like, are you a reality TV fan? No. You don't have to be. I never watched any. I don't, I don't even know how you access those TV shows. I just watch my like, you know, select shows on Netflix or whatever. Um, but I am always up for the adventure. And I loved doing those. I loved doing those shows because like, you know, I mean, masked was, was really hard. I have to say like dancing with a mask on was one of the hardest things ever. Um, but I loved doing dancing with the stars in Paris. Um, it was like a moment where I was like, Oh, wow. I'm in the top three for 12 weeks. And my two com competitors are men who are 24 and 22 years old and they both have dance experience and I don't have formal dance experience. So it was, um, it was a fun, empowering experience to be like, you know, holding my own against the, the the guy, the young men competing with me. I have had so many people on this show from who have competed in Dancing with the Stars here in the U.S. And they have every single person, like every celebrity has said it is literally possibly one of the hardest things I've done in my entire career. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I, I think in France, it's even a totally different story. <laughs> you made it very far, so... We did. Speaking of reality TV, you know, we have Real Housewives, you know, a few weeks ago at this point, you know, we were all watching the finality of, you know, we all have troll accounts and these Twitter accounts. We were watching the finale of Salt Lake Housewives and it was revealed that Monica Garcia, one of the Salt Lake Housewives, is the one running this reality Von Teese account. She was the oh, wait, one. There's, I didn't know there was a name to it. Wait, I'm taking notes. What's the name? You have to take notes because I saw it's called reality von t i saw it but like i didn't know who was behind it <laughs> well let me as you, you could take out your pen and pencil if you would like monica garcia she's one of the salt lake housewives mm -hmm. she got herself on the show apparently she's been running this account for four years you know 